And before we jump into the main part of the video, let me just do a comparison to show why you should treat your footwear so that you can see why you need to watch the rest. The boot on the left is treated, the boot on the right isn't. And what you're going to see is obviously beading on the left and on the right, it's just soaking up the water. Now imagine if you're out walking and the damage that's being done to your footwear in the rain. Okay, let's watch the rest of the video. First thing to take into account is if you've got leather or canvas or suede footwear and you're out and about and it's raining, then that footwear is going to soak up water. What makes it even worse is if the water's muddy or if it's salty or just dirty water, then it's going to soak up that dirt as well and it's going to stain your shoes. So what you need to do is protect your shoes so that they don't soak up the water. You need to waterproof them as much as you can or at least make them water resistant. And that's what we're going to do today. And more importantly, we're going to do it for very little money, very quickly and very easily. So we're going to do it with these Ugg boots. We're going to do it with these work boots and we're going to do it with these. Uh, so canvas, suede, suede on the front and canvas there. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to use this spray. Now, I'm not advocating that you buy this spray. Uh, pretty much they're all the same. You can pay a little bit of money or you can pay a lot of money. This was just under three pound for a can. Um, so dollars, you're talking just under four dollars. This will do two pairs of boots easily and that's four sprays per pair of boots. Uh, so I've already done these and these previously, but I'm going to do them again just so that you can see me doing it. And obviously we'll do these as well. And what it does is it puts a barrier on the shoe, which just waterproofs it so that any liquid that gets on there runs off. You don't just need to be worried about rain either. Anything like oil, anything that will stain it shouldn't adhere to the boot once you've finished. This is the second pair of boots that I've bought that are like this. The first pair, absolutely fantastic. So I've bought another pair because uh, the others are shot at now. But I'll show you a picture of what the other boots turned into in a very, very short time, just because they got dirty and wet and stained. And I don't want that to happen with these. So we're going to spray this onto the boots. There's going to be four applications each. Uh, and in between you allow about 15 minutes for them to dry. And then after that, waterproof. Couldn't wish for more. You need to protect expensive things. And not only that, you want them to keep looking good for as long as you can. Right, let's do it. I've come outside to apply it because when I've used it in the past, it's really, really strong stuff and you need to be in a ventilated area. So outside's perfect. If you've got boots that haven't been treated before and maybe you've worn them, use a suede brush just to get the nap up and also give them a clean if they've been used before. But yeah, definitely a recommendation if they're not brand new. I say it just cleans them up in preparation for the spray. Right, so, so easy to apply. Pop your hand inside, give the can a good shake, and then you literally just spray it on. And you'll see it change color. Well, that's just because you're dampening the suede. But when it's all been sprayed, you leave it for 15 minutes, and then you do it again, and then you do it again, then you do it again. So four applications, 15 minutes in between each one, and then they're, uh, they're done. Okay, same with the boots. And on this one, you can see you've got your suede and you've got your canvas. And again, just spray over it anywhere where you want to waterproof it, making sure you're doing the sides, the backs, heel, all down the side. Set anywhere where you want to and it's not just a case of waterproofing it, it's making sure that you're preventing it from staining, that's more important. And then lastly, we're going to do the canvas ones. Again, spray, bit harder to see where you've sprayed on this. But once it's all been done, again, 15 minutes, come back and another three applications, each one with 15 minutes in between. Okay, time for the second coat. Now, you don't need to give it four coats. You can get away with just giving it two. Two to three is something as a, as a minimum. Um, what I'm going to do is spray it again. I'm not going to douse it. I'm just going to make sure that everything's covered, especially the toe area, right? 
I'll probably do them three coats, so another 15 minutes, and then one more coat, and then it's done. We're all finished with treating the boots now. So the leather's been treated, the fabric's been treated, and the pair of boots that you can see on the right-hand side, they haven't been treated. And they're in there because what I want to show is the object of protecting the leather is not necessarily to fully waterproof them, but just to ensure that any liquid that gets on them beads off as quickly as possible, or at least when it dries, it can be wiped off. So we're definitely not doing this so that we can stand in a three inch deep puddle for half an hour. Right, let's get the shower head and demonstrate it. So again, the boots on the right hand side haven't been treated at all. We'll start from the Uggs. You can see the water just beading off them. Off that as well. Now, so if you have a look at the boots on the right hand side, that's all over there. Have a look at the boots on the right hand side and how much water they've soaked up. And that's certainly not the case with the other boots. So they're absolutely wet through. You can pretty much shake that off, shake that off. This is a little bit different because it's very coarse material, but the water's not soaked into the material. And obviously with these, nothing there either. That's the difference between protected boots and non-protected boots. Here we go, a few minutes later, the boot on the right, obviously if that had been in salt water or any type of dirty or muddy water, you'd have a real problem there when it dries. It's soaked in and you'll get the salt stain, definitely. The other three boots on the left-hand side, perfect. If there was any dirt on there, once they've dried, you could just wipe that off or get the suede brush on it. So it seems it does exactly what it says on the tin. Okay, so in summary, what do I think? Well, you've seen the results. You've seen the water just bead off them. Nothing soaks into them. These are gonna stay in pristine condition for as long as I keep on top of the maintenance with this. I've no need to worry about any staining. So yeah, absolutely perfect. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. My footwear's protected, daughter's footwear's protected. They're going to keep looking good for longer because they're not going to stain. They're not going to look old. Don't need to buy the, the cheap ones. If you want to pay more for the expensive ones, that's fine. Maybe they treat the uh, the leather and the suede. Uh, maybe this just waterproofs it. I'm not a scientist, I couldn't tell you, but you can get a lot more expensive ones than this. But definitely a recommendation to put something on so that they keep looking good for longer. If you're going to invest in footwear, if you're going to spend a lot of money on footwear, you may as well have dry feet and keeping the footwear looking good for as long as possible. I'll put the link into this one below the video, but as I say, anyone will do.